Imagine plunging into the deep blue, chasing a dream as old as adventure itself. That was the promise of the Titan Submersible, an engineering marvel built from carbon fiber and titanium, designed to bring ordinary people face to face with the legendary Titanic. But what happens when innovation outpaces caution? See, the Titan wasn't your typical sub. It skipped past traditional materials like steel and leaned into cutting edge carbon fiber. Exciting? For sure, but experts worried the rules were being rewritten a little too quickly. Carbon fiber was a wild card at these crushing depths, and the sub's acrylic window was only rated for a third of the planned descent. The Titan wasn't even certified by any regulatory body, a serious red flag most of us would never notice. June 18th, 2023, five explorers, Stockton Rush, Paul Henry Nargiole, Hamish Harding, Shazada, and Suleiman Daywood, sealed themselves inside and started the descent. Their last message? Dropped two w -8s. Just minutes later, silence. Experts say the implosion happened in a blink. Pressure at those depths is unforgiving, crushing anything unprepared in milliseconds. The world watched, hoping. Four days later, debris was found scattered near the Titanic. The search ended in heartbreak, leaving five families and a fascinated public grappling with questions no one wanted to ask. Investigations peeled back the layers. Engineers and whistleblowers had raised alarms. Safety standards were skipped. Warnings were ignored. Expeditions continued, fueled by ambition and a bit of hubris. The loss of Titan reshaped deep sea exploration. Suddenly safety wasn't just a checklist, it was the story. The lesson, when we chase the extraordinary, respect for the ocean's power isn't optional. The sea keeps its secrets, but the memory of Titan urges us to remember. Innovation is only as strong as the safety that supports it.